The radar animation that you see in the background is from the precipitation that was falling across Central Illinois on Sunday. In challenge problem number three, I ask you guys to analyze some radar data and try to understand what the Doppler radar reflectivity images are telling you and also what the Doppler radar radio velocity images are telling you. The image you see here is a reflectivity image, which means each pixel is reporting the intensity of the precipitation. We can see by the color bar down at the bottom here that the precipitation is relatively light, some locations raining a little bit more moderately, but nothing really heavy or nasty way over here on the color scale. When we watch this image, we can also see that the precipitation is moving from the southwest to the northeast. Now this image, which is a radar reflectivity image, is reporting the intensity of the precipitation. Let's switch gears here and go to the radar radio velocity image so that you can understand how to interpret this for your assignment that's due on Tuesday. What we notice is this. When I switch to the radar radio velocity image, the color scheme changes. We have a series of red pixels and a series of green. Red indicates any precipitation that is being blown by the wind in some direction away from the radar. And green is the opposite. It's precipitation being blown by the wind toward the radar. So we can see in general that we have red in the northern part of the state and green in the southern. And if we just kind of flow from green to red, we can actually see the direction the precipitation is moving. It also helps that this image is animated so you can actually see that progression of precipitation. In your homework assignment, I had to give you a static image because it's on paper. But you can interpret it the same way. So any pixel like these grouped up here that are color coded on this side of the spectrum indicate precipitation being blown away from the radar. And down here where we have all these greens and we're on this side of the color spectrum, we're talking about precipitation being blown toward the radar. Now right along the center here, we see that we have some pixels that report basically a zero velocity. And the reason why they are unable to resolve the wind speed is because the precipitation is being blown perpendicularly to the beam. The beam I'm talking about here is the radar beam. And as a result, it's impossible to resolve the Doppler effect if the precipitation is flowing perpendicular to the beam. Which means in order to use this image, you have to have precipitation being blown toward or away from the radar. So in your homework assignment, you're going to see a similar image, red and green. Remember that if you want to try to figure out the direction the precipitation is moving, it's going to flow from the greens to the reds. Well, I hope that helps you all out for your assignment that's due on Tuesday.